Guys, thanks for watching this video. The reason I'm making it is I recently posted my mortar spreadsheet, which uh, Andy from 3 Commander Brigade had converted into a Google document, thus making it available for general release. Um, now, pretty much as soon as I did, um, somebody put in the comments to that Reddit post this spreadsheet here and asked, is it better than this one? Uh, and also on the same day, somebody else completely unrelated posted this uh, uh, spreadsheet here. Um, now the thing that got me was that these two spreadsheets initially look exactly the same in their outputs um, and give me a completely different result than my spreadsheet here does. This spreadsheet that I've been using, I've been using for a little over a year, maybe closer to 18 months and it's bang on for me. Now I'm currently in a mission on Altus, this is running on a dedicated multiplayer server, I'm just in here by myself at the moment. The ACE Mortars module is enabled. We're using air resistance with the ballistic computer turned off on ACE. Um, now the actual mortar I'm using is a 3 Commander Brigade BAF mortar. Uh, ballistically it's exactly the same as, as an ACE, uh, a vanilla ACE mortar. If you don't believe me you can test it out for yourself. But I've done extensive testing. The ballistics for this mortar are exactly the same. The spreadsheet I made was before this mortar um, was available. So it's continued to work fine. So there's no changes there. Now. First thing, of course, that for any spreadsheet or mortar calculator that you need to do is you need to load in your own grid reference. So I've got my micro dagger here giving me a 10 figure grid. Now because this second spreadsheet is only functioning to four figures, I have rounded all grid references across all three off to the nearest eight figure grid reference. So in here we have 2534, 2176, 2534, 2176 and 2534. 2176. Oops, okay, so my altitude is 78 meters. I've moved a little bit, so let me change that. 78 meters. Height, 78 meters. And gun altitude, 78 meters. So that's the gun position setup. Now, using the Vector 21 linked up with my micro dagger, I'm going to pick see that stone wall there on the far side I'm picking that location because there's lots of open ground between me and it which will make it easier to see where any rounds that don't hit the target go so I'm gonna laser it there we go I've got my azimuth and distance to that target and in the bottom right I have the target grid so I'll start putting that in now again I'm gonna round these all to eight figures so two six zero four and two zero four two altitude of 12 meters so I'll input that now 2604 2604 padding with a zero and 2042 zero, 042 padded with a zero elevation is 12 meters now this spreadsheet uses direction and distance um, primarily as an aid for working with other players so when I'm just doing a single fire mission myself it, it doesn't make any difference so 202604 and 2042 okay now straight away I've highlighted these two boxes here because it's the elevation and azimuth straight away you'll see a difference so this calculator gives 1162 when you round it and mine gives 1072 so of course a higher elevation means the rounds go shorter so this calculator is giving me an elevation that one way or another would land shorter than this one. Now if I put the same grids in here, 2604 padded with a zero, and 2042 padded with a zero. Altitude 12 meters. Now this is the first thing that struck me as interesting. 1174 on the elevation from this spreadsheet, uh, the calculator, and this one says 1162. Now I presume that they use the same underlying formulas or a similar one because they give similar results but straight away you see that they both can't be right because they're giving different answers. If I change the altitude, hang on let me do a fair test there, so they both should be set to 12 meters. 12 meters, 1174, 12 meters, 1162. Right, if I change the altitudes to be the same between battery and target, so 12 meters each, 
now we get 1163 and 1163. So clearly they're using something similar underlying, um, but there is obviously a bug in at least one of them because they're giving different answers. So if I go back to the actual coordinates and we'll start doing some fire missions. So I'm going to start off with my calculator. So we have an elevation of 1072, azimuth 2710. I'm probably going to alt tab because I'll forget. Getting in the mortar. Do you get to charge one? Zoom in a bit so I can see what I was shooting at. So that's that stone wall there that I was aiming at. And sure enough, I've forgotten. So we have N072. And 2710. And done shift to the, do the small adjustments. 2710, 1072. And of course the numbers change due to the Ace Mortars bug, but that's that's fine. Time of flight's about 26 seconds if I recall. So I'll skip ahead. Okay, so there we have a round landing a little bit past the target. I'm going to just repeat a couple of times to get a sort of average beaten zone. And sure enough, all the rounds are landing downwind of the target area, because I forgot to adjust for the wind. Okay, so you can see, in this case, the, round, the rounds were landing a little past the uh, stone wall that was the target. Uh, I, by the way, I haven't inputted any of the variables for wind, so they're a little off. More importantly, we've rounded to 8 figure grids, which means we're adding plus or minus 5 meters in accuracy at both the start and end points of that fire mission. So that's pretty much on target. I'm now going to use the coordinates from this spreadsheet. So bearing 2710 when you round up and 1162. One six two and two seven one zero and firing. And by the way, yes, I am aware that this is a kind of a weird way to reload the mortar. Unfortunately, there is a bug with the bath mortar purely in regards to, to reloading at the moment. Hence the odd way that I'm loading this mortar. Okay, we have first round splashing. And we can see that it has landed significantly short. There's another one short. There'll be one more after this one. And there's the final round. So remember our target wall is up here. So I'm going to use the built-in function of the vector 21 to give us an adjustment. So this is telling us that the rounds were off to the side a little bit, only four meters, so I'll ignore that, but that the rounds were 
160 meters short. That, that A160 error means add 160, which means that if this was my calculator, you would have to type in an add 160 figure to adjust onto the target. So the first spreadsheet that was posted in reply to mine on Reddit clearly is the rounds are dropping significantly short. Now, I estimated based on the figures I saw that if the target was a thousand meters away, the rounds would land approximately 110 to 150 meters short. Uh, the target they were looking at today is 1500 meters. So it's the, the, the amount that they're short by is uh, slightly more than what I said on Reddit. So I'm going to rinse and repeat, do the same thing again, this time using the UO calculator. That's giving me the same azimuth as before with an elevation of 1174. They're all giving the same azimuth of course because I haven't adjusted for windage. So 1174. And I need to load the mortar first. 1174271054. Okay, four rounds fire for effect. Let's take a look. And I'm expecting them to round, land. Yep, there we go. Well short. So there's one, two, three. Good tight grouping. And the last one, there it is. Okay, so I'll do the same again. I was pointing originally roughly at this wall here. And point at the point of impact. And this time the round's landing 190 meters short. So there you go. These other calculators do not give correct azimuth and elevation. Actually, the azimuth is not too bad if you igno are ignoring wind, uh, but the azimuth is correction. The elevation is clearly wrong because these round rounds are landing 200 meters short in this case. Now, if this was a situation where you were firing rounds over the head of friendly troops in support of their assault, and they were taking cover 200 meters short of the objective, you've just killed all the friendly platoons. So obviously this is not good.